Hey! Stop right there, you thief! There you are. Just as Titus said you'd be. Now, return my dagger to me or I'll carve you into pieces and feed you to the wolves! Who's Titus? Don't play dumb. You know who Titus is. Everyone knows who Titus is. He told me that a man matching your description and carrying my stolen dagger would come right through here. Now, here you are. Explain that. Dagger? Sorry, but I don't have your dagger. You are a liar and a fool. Prepare to die. Look for yourself. I do not have your dagger. You speak the truth. I humbly apologize, my friend. I was told by Titus that the man who stole my dagger would be traveling this way. I knew that most everyone in Moonglow could not be trusted, but Titus as well? This is a sad day. Who are you? I am Duncan, a traveling fighter skilled in the art of swordplay. Why do you seek the dagger? The dagger is a treasured family heirloom, given to me by my father. I would be most appreciative if you would keep a lookout for it. Who is Titus? He is a powerful mage who is the keeper of the Lyceum. He has assumed control of the Lyceum and will allow no one to consult the Oracle without paying a fee. You should be wary of this mage. What is the Lyceum? The Lyceum is a great center of knowledge. The Book of Truth and the Oracle are both kept there. I still can't believe that Titus lied to me like that. And what is the Oracle? I'm not entirely certain. I've never seen it. From what I understand, the Oracle is an object of great wisdom or magic. Farewell. Wait. Since I was so rash in my accusation, I would like to offer some recompense by way of advice. Beware of the deceit of the people in Moonglow. You saw how Titus fooled me. Don't let the same happen to you. I was told by Titus that the man who stole my... I knew that most everyone in Moon... Farewell. Wait. Since I was... You saw how Titus fooled... See him in the middle there, and to the south left is the magic. Shop. Magic shop. Okay. <laughs> Still rusty. Before that, okay, I see someone. One guard armor is covered like hers was green. Down that's one of your friends. Yeah, and that's why we're going to the dock. I just noticed that notice was it. <laughs> Oh, 
Stranger, help me, please! Who are you, boy? I am the Sage's son. My father is being attacked by a band of murderous thieves. Beware, he's probably lying. Where's your father? He is in our home in Moonclo. Please help us, mister, please. I don't want my daddy to die. It's not this house. Oh, look at that. Katrina. Katrina was one on the island. Maybe she does both. Mm. Julia uh, is in Monarch, Anna is in New, Valoria, and tell you who Zach, the Prey, Karen Abray, I'm in there. Oh, we killed Katrina. I might have to go back there to see who on the other one. Oh, I'll have to try to remember for next time. I don't know if I saw that book earlier, hey? Mister? Hey, you're the boy who told me his father was being attacked. He was being attacked. It's just that they took him somewhere else. Really? He's, um, at the healers now, because they didn't kill him. Really? Uh-huh, really. All right, then. I've got to go. You behave yourself. Yeah, not likely. 
I'm gonna, it's just separate, not separate wine. Well. Sorry, I'm far too busy to chat. Okay, I'm going to let's get paid. Well, I probably should close it. Now. Here we go again. Are you in need of healing? I'm in need of healing. Relax then, and let. Thank you. Good day, dear sir. Any crash? I had troubles with loading it. So, so when you start using the healer, it's not going to get well there. Please help me. What is it now, boy? There are bad men at my house attacking my mother. They're going to hurt her. Please help. Sir? You again. I'm really sorry that I got mixed up, sir. What do you mean you- I thought that those were bad men in So you sent me off on a wild goose chase. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just got mixed up, honest. Please don't be mad, please? You're sorry, huh? I really am honest. Please don't be mad at me. I feel really dumb because I got all mixed up. But I was afraid after what happened to my father. I've got to go. Hmm. Oh, the other game crashed again. I'm gonna have to use the number for cure, I think. Yeah. No. I 
running around the world and love this region. I've heard a story or two about him. Ah, I've been expecting you, Avatar. Who are you? I am Tidus, caretaker of the Lyceum. How does one find the Lyceum? I know what you seek, Avatar. You seek the mantra of honesty, and you hope that the Oracle will provide you with it. I can assure you that it will not, but I do not blame you for trying. I have a task in mind. Think of it as a small fee. If you perform this task for me, then I will grant you access to the Oracle. But isn't the Oracle available to everyone? I am the only mage capable of conferring with the Oracle. What is your fee? If you procure the Staff of Wisdom, I will reveal the Lyceum to you, and within it, the Oracle. Where will I find the Staff of Wisdom? The Staff of Wisdom is located in a cave southwest of Moonglow. You will know it by the marble statue which stands at its mouth. Then I shall seek out the staff. Farewell. Farewell, Avatar. Oh. 
Where did we get oh, the there we go. Safe travels today. Hello, what have we got here then? You look a bit lost, mate. Bad luck turning up here, mate. Bad luck. Gotten by my fellow thieves. <laughs> me. Lady Major. What was it?
Thank you for saving me, Avatar. If you had not come when you did, I would most assuredly be dead. I am forever in your debt. You're lucky that I came. Yes, I realize that. I know that my son's lies have caused you a great deal of time and trouble, Avatar. And I'm very sorry, but this time, I think that he may have learned a valuable lesson. Why did these ruffians attack you? They ransacked my house, and they stole my journal. It contains all of my most valuable research, and although they will not be able to decipher the text, it is important that I get it back. If it falls into the hands of an evil mage, it could be used to wreak untold havoc. Please, Avatar, if you could, find my journal and return it to me. I doubt they could have gone far. Yeah, I am exactly where it is. We picked it up before and yeah. The head of skin will obviously. Hey! 
This is the hard. I guess I'm not going to say if it's not a problem for it in the game. have found my journal, Avatar. Thank you. Please, take these two scrolls as a modest repayment of the vast debt that I owe you, sir. Thank you. Avatar, have you the staff of... No, instead I found thieves. I apologize for your fruitless venture, Avatar. Perhaps it resides in a second cave, one to the north that boasts a ruby embedded on a pedestal at its entrance. Only when you find the staff will I allow you to enter the Lyceum. Just before it crashed. Uh, which direction is it? Yeah. Let's get confused. I should be this way, yeah. Just go this way. I have been expecting you, Avatar. Tell me, how does it feel to play the fool? Who are you, creature? I am the guardian of the stone. What stone? The heart stone. It is the root of Titus' power, the embodiment of his soul. He who possesses the Heartstone possesses Titus. I was summoned here by Titus. I fell prey to his deceit and was bound here. 
made to guard this stone from any that might take it. I mean to have my freedom, Avatar. I will help you in your quest, and in so doing, you will help me in mine. You may enter my lair if you agree to drop your weapons and proceed unarmed. You will have access to the stone and control of Titus. Once the stone is removed from this place, I shall be unbound. All right. I will grant you- You are a lucky man, Avatar, to have placed your trust in a demon and live to tell about it. Perhaps next time you will not be so lucky. My my daddy. My daddy's hurt really bad. Please help me, please. Now how am I supposed to believe you? But I am telling the truth, I swear. Oh, all right. But you'd better be telling the truth. my fault. My father's going to die and it's all my fault. If I hadn't lied to that man about my parents, he'd believe me now. If I asked for help... 
I'm so sorry that I lied to you. Please forgive me. Thank you for your help, Avatar. Good luck. I'm so sorry that I lied to you. Avatar, you're back, but I see you do not have the Staff of Wisdom. How am I to help you? I don't have the Staff, but I do have something better. The Heartstone. Don't tell me that you actually believed anything that demon told you, Avatar. Surely you're experienced enough to know that demons are pure evil and can never be trusted. That... that thing that he gave you is probably some evil artifact that will corrupt you. You should give it to me, Avatar, and I'll dispose of it before it does you any harm. I didn't say anything about a demon. How did you know that a demon was there? Oh, uh, uh, well, that thing there, it's a demon's tool, obviously. I'm trying to help you, Avatar. That thing is evil, and you should give it to me. I'll make sure it's destroyed. Please. Give it up, Titus. I've caught you in a lie, and we both know it. No, I am not. I am... Um, that thing... I really need it. I... Stop it, Titus. This is pathetic. I know that you need this stone. Reveal the Lyceum, and I'll give it to you. How can I believe that you'll hand it over? Because I'm an honorable man. Very well. I suppose I don't have a choice. <laughs> There, you see? Some people can be trusted. Goodbye, Titus.
Yeah, this sounds like it has a secret in it for you. I am indebted to you for returning my heartstone. You are a man of honesty. May you live a long and prosperous life.
Fucking man, it's messed up. I'm on the edge of the boat. This It is he at last, the Avatar, and with honorable determination, he seeks to cleanse this beleaguered city of its foul pollution. Here is the answer. You will find the mantra written in the heavens when the day has gone to sleep. seeks the book of truth. Answer this question first. Are you responsible for the destruction that has recently befallen the land? Yes, sadly, I am. You have begun to see your true nature. Take the book you seek. Trying to find out who's he rip the book of proof is for something else, which uh, is part of the three principles with love and courage. Men earlier mentioned when I am written a candle of love out of it. It's the Avatar. You don't know. You've never seen the Avatar. He could just be some stranger. We'll ask him then. Hey, mister, you're the Avatar, aren't you? How do you know who I am? See, I told you he was the Avatar. Word gets around pretty fast. Yeah, we heard you were here the minute you got in town. Can you give me some information? About what? About Moonglow. Sorry, we don't know anything about Moonglow. Yeah, we're not from there. Bye, Avatar. Bye. And he's
Okay, save and save. Are you in need of healing, or would you like to purchase some of my wares? I would like to purchase. Well, hello there, Avatar. Goodbye. So very good to see you in Britannia. Yes, I, I know who you are. A benefit of my magical training. I am Marna. I, I spend most of my time studying magic and other natural phenomena. I have learned some very interesting things of late. What have you been learning? I've been studying the effects of karma on people. It seems that there is good and bad karma, each of which has its own power. A person will make a choice to follow a certain path in life, and that will forever determine which karma, good or bad, will serve as the source for his power. This karma directly affects how in tune you are with yourself, and thus how much power you have for casting magic. A good person gains karma as he completes good deeds, and loses it as he commits bad ones. It works in the reverse for a person dedicated to evil. The more bad he does, the more powerful he becomes. What's affecting the people here in Moonglow? I don't know yet. As soon as I've put the finishing touches on my karma research, I intend to look into that. Hmm. Goodbye, Marna. Farewell, Avatar.
to read a script or something in front of it. Mm. Oh. 
Speak now the mantra of honesty, Avatar. Moonglow, once known as the city of honesty, has been corrupted by deceit and lies. Thou must return here with the writ and the glyph of deceit, so that I may be cleansed. Only then will Moonglow be purified. I know not the location of the writ, but the glyph lies in the depths of the dungeon of deceit. Go now, and hurry, worthy champion. Only thou may cleanse me. Get her ass out of here. 
Are you in need of healing, or would you like to- I'm in need of he- Relax then, and let me see your wounds. Thank you. Avatar, you who seek to cleanse this world, leave us be. Things are better now in Britannia than ever before. We have entered a golden age, and your meddling will only bring harm. Go away and leave us alone. Safe travels to thee. Ooh. What can I do for you? Hello, good lady. What is your name? I am Batista, and I'm very charmed to meet you, Avatar. 
How did you know that I'm the Avatar? Because I make it my business to know about handsome strangers who come into town. Don't worry, Avatar. I might be dangerous in my own way, but I won't hurt you. So, what can I do for you? How are you dangerous? Well, I do have some certain charms that men find dangerous. But of course, as a mage, I am not to be taken lightly. I suppose most people here in Moonglow are mages. Yes, we are. But you will find that not all mages are equal in their abilities. Some of us are highly skilled and very powerful, while others, such as that oaf Titus, are rank amateurs. I'm looking for some information. I'll help you out any way I can, Avatar. I'm looking for the Sigil of Honesty. Well, handsome. The Sigil that you seek is the Writ of Honesty, and I possess it. I will give it to you if you do a small favor for me. Of course. What do you need? A dear friend of mine, a mage named Mariah, is very ill. I can heal her, but only if I have a powerful artifact that belongs to her. There is a magical shield in her house that would be the perfect thing. If you could bring me that shield, I will happily give you the writ. Uh -huh. Very well. I'll find the shield for you. I'm so glad to hear that. Bring the shield back to me, and I will reward you in ways that you could never imagine. You'd better be on your way then. The sooner you get that shield, the sooner you can get back here. Avatar, I'm surprised to see you. Forgive me, Mariah. I was sent to retrieve this shield and was told that you had it. I looked for you, but didn't see you in your house. Sent to retrieve my shield? By who? By Batista. She said that you were very sick and that she needed this shield to heal you. Really? What else did she tell you? Well, apparently the two of you are very close friends. Don't believe a word that woman says, Avatar. She lies as much as everyone else in this town. I'm only taking the shield to her because I need it to get the Sigil of Honesty. Well, she does have the Writ of Honesty. Titus gave it to her when they were lovers. If you need the shield, it's yours, but be careful. It's a powerful shield that absorbs magic. Speaking of magic, 
You still do a bit of magic, don't you? Oh yes, I'm not as good as you are, but I still know a few spells. Humility is a virtue, Avatar, but don't forget truth. You can be as good a mage as anyone, and you know it. Of course, we have also developed a system of rituals since you were last here. Are you familiar with the Restore ritual? No, I'm not familiar with that ritual. Well, this is one that you should learn. It's a ritual that restores your health and mana. Believe me, it can be quite useful. All that you have to do is meditate before a cleansed shrine. Once you have spoken the appropriate mantra for the given shrine, tell the shrine that you wish to perform the restore ritual. The shrine will then ask you for the incantation. Remember this, because if you don't know the incantation, you can't perform the ritual. The incantation is Vas Mani Corp. After you have spoken the incantation, the shrine will instruct you as to what you must do. Thank you, Mariah. You're quite welcome. Well, I know that you have pressing business, so please feel free to take the shield, but be careful. It could be dangerous in the wrong hands. And be careful of Batista. That one is not to be trusted. Goodbye, Avatar. Mm. That was the one that we saved from, that we uh, ignored in the uh, form. Yeah, and you the spell on it. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Not never. That's why we need to put barrel on top. We have one guy that was there. She wanted to put, she wouldn't have appeared there. She would have just. I think she is bugged. The ritual is supposed to be a one guard, and the ritual is supposed to disappear, you know, if we destroy it. Unless let's take one guards. But anyway, in the future we will just. Hello, sir. Take a push. Take the Come on, I'm gonna get Oh! I see that you have my shield! I knew that you'd be- I'll give you the writ, 
and then we can get down to more enjoyable business. Before we go any further, tell me why you lied about Mariah. What do you mean? I never lied to you. I spoke to Mariah. She's quite healthy and you two are not friends. All right, fine. So I told a little lie. Who cares? Everybody tells a small lie now and then, Avatar, and you know it. So don't pretend to be so shocked. Aren't you lying to the people of Britannia by making them believe that you can save the world? You have made them believe in you. Made them believe that only you can help them for all these years. Yet the fact remains that even if you manage to defeat the Guardian, you cannot save them from themselves. There will be other Guardians. Other evils. How can I trust you to give me the writ if you lied about the shield? We each have something the other wants. Let's just do an even exchange and get this over with so you can go on with whatever it is you're doing, and I can get back to my work, okay? First you must give me the writ, then I'll give you your shield. Oh, so I take it that you don't really need the writ, is that it? Look, if you really want the sigil, then you've got to give me the shield. No shield, no sigil. So what's it going to be? I will not give you the shield. Out then. Come back when you change your mind. Oh, I see that you have my shield. I knew that you'd be able to get it back. Hand it over, Avatar. I'll give you the writ, and then we can get down to more enjoyable business. First, you must give me the writ. Oh, so I take it that no shield, no sit. Before we go any. F what do you mean? I spoke to Mariah. She All right, fine. Aren't you lying? You have made yet the fact. You shouldn't lie about things, Batista. It's just wrong. Look, don't lecture me, all right? I don't need you telling me how to live. Now we each have something that the other wants. Let's just do an even exchange and get this over with so you can go on with whatever it is you're doing, and I can get back to my work, okay? Here is your shield. Now give me the writ. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Now if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. oh, unfortunately. We can kill her for that one. And get the shield back for the one to the camera. Hello. <laughs>
Speak now the mantra of honesty. advancement. In what attribute wilt thou advance? Intelligence. Speak now the mantra of honesty. This is not the mantra of honesty. Yes. Mm -hmm. 